So a lot of times in our automations, we need to extract text from PDFs and then further use it in the automation. But it becomes a little bit of a tricky process because it is not that straightforward. And a lot of people go ahead with some third party apps, you know, pay them $10 a month. But to be very honest, you can achieve that same thing using just two more modules in your automation. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can extract text from your PDFs without subscribing to another third party app. Hello everybody, my name is Yashika Jain. I'm the founder of Automate's AI. At Automate's AI, we build automated systems for businesses that use the power of AI. And while building these systems, a lot of times we need to have this capability of extracting text from PDFs and then using them further. So I thought of making a video on it so that the other people can also get value from it. So if you're ready, let's get started. So this is the automation that I was talking about. In order to extract text from PDF, you just need these two modules in your automation and your work will be done. Now your PDF can come from anywhere. It could come from a Google Drive. It could be uploaded somewhere. It can literally come from anywhere. You just need to have these two modules and your work will be done. So for this particular use case, I have set up the trigger to be watch files in a folder. So basically, whenever I upload a file to my Google Drive folder, it triggers the automation. As I said, you can have anything, but this is just to show you guys. So basically, if you see, I have connected my Google Drive account to my make account. Then I have selected by created time and then uh, my drive. And then I've selected the folder that the automation needs to watch. And the name of the folder is files trigger the automation. So basically, whenever I put in my file in this particular folder, it would trigger the automation. And for the file types, I've kept it as all and the limit is one. Okay. Now, once the automation gets triggered, it's time for me to download the file so that my current make.com automation can access the file. Okay, so I have this simple module again with Google Drive that is, that is named download a file, wherein I manually put in the file ID from the first module. So you just need to click on this and you will see file ID here and that's it. The only purpose of this action is that it downloads the file so that the automation can further access it. Now, the part that I explained till now is completely optional. You can have any other thing um, in place of this. You can have any other module, any other app. The only goal is to have the PDF within our automation so that the later modules can access it. Okay, so now let's suppose that you have the PDF in place and now you want to extract the text content from it. So now what do you need to do? You need to set up these two modules. The first module is going to be upload a file by Google Drive. So if I show you how to set it up, firstly, you need to connect your Google Drive account to your make account. Once you've done that, you need to select enter manually under enter folder ID. Now it is time for us to enter a folder ID. So this is the folder where the file or the PDF would be uploaded once to the Google Drive. So for that, you could just literally uh, create a new folder in your Google Drive and then you will find the URL, um, sorry, the folder ID in the URL and you can just simply paste it here. In case you're not able to do that, you can um, go ahead and select select from a list and then you can type in your folder's name right here. So my folder's name is PDF files converted to Google Docs. So you could simply do that and it would pick up your folder ID right there. So I hope you've selected the folder. I repeat, it can be any folder. It doesn't matter at all. It is just a place for us to store our converted files. That is it. Okay, so actually this doesn't matter, but you just need to give it a new name. So you know, you can have anything. Now it is time for us to map the file that we need to upload to Google Drive. Okay, so if you're already using Google Drive, it will show you the option to, you know, um, upload it directly. But if you're not using Google Drive and you're using some other app, you can just go with map. You can enter the file name and enter the data 
of the file. The data of the file would be in binary. You will find it in your prior previous modules and you can just map it here so that the file can get uploaded to this particular Google Drive folder. But if you have this option, then just go for it because it is less headache. Okay, next up, I'm sure you don't see these two options. So what you need to do is you need to click on the show advanced settings button that is here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but it is right here. Um, let's see. No. Okay, so you'll find that button at the bottom and you just need to click it on and then you will see these two options. So first it would be selected as no, but you need to select yes. Then it would ask you your target file type and for your target, it would be dot document. Okay, so dot document. Now what this particular module is doing, it is taking your PDF, it is uploading it to Google Drive folder, but while uploading it, it converts the file from PDF format to Google Docs format. Now why we are doing that, you will know that in a second. But please set it up such that your PDF file gets uploaded to Google Drive and gets converted into a Google Doc. Once you've done that, please save the automation once. Next, select Google Docs as your new action and then select get content of a document. So let me show you how to set it up. Firstly, connect your Google Docs account with um, Make so that it can access it. Next, you need to select um, by mapping under this particular under these options you need to select by mapping and here you need to map the file id of the file that we just now uploaded to google drive to do that you need to click here and then at the top you will see this file id just click on it and you will find it right here so this is basically referring back to the file that we uploaded in the previous module okay then this is not necessary even if you turn it off it's fine so that is it now what it would do is um, this would get the content of the Google Doc um, right here in front of you. And that's it. Your two modules are ready. So if I had to summarize, first we're uploading the PDF to our Google Drive folder where we are converting it into a Google Doc. Then we're using the Google Doc folder to get the content of the document. It is that simple. And that's it. Now you get the text from your PDF and then you can use it literally anywhere. So first, let me show you how this automation is working for me so that you can see the results. And then I'll show you what all you can do with the content of the document that you get. Okay, so here I am on my Google Drive and this is the folder that triggers the automation. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and upload a PDF file so that the automation can access it. Okay, so it is uploading my PDF file. It's just a normal PDF file with some of the text content and that's it. Now let's go back to our automation and trigger it once to see how it is working. So I'll click on run once. So let's pick up my file. Now it is downloading it for the automation to use. Now it is uploading it to that new folder that I had created and converting it into a Google Doc. And then this module gets the content from the Google Doc. Now, if you click here, you'll see that there is an option for text content. And if you click, ta-da, you have your text from your PDF file. So this is the exact text that was there on my PDF that is now available for me to use. Now you can use this text content um, further in your automation. For example, you can use um, an OpenAI module. Um, for example, let's say uh, create a completion. Okay. And there you can map it out. So let's select a model. Um, let's go with GBD 40 mini and then I'll select user summarize the content of my PDF and then you can simply map your text content here like this and that's it. You can make OpenAI do anything with the PDF um, text that you've got. Alternatively, you can also add it to a Google Sheet if you want to have access to the content. So you could select um, the module for add a row and then you can add the content that was created in a Google Sheet 
or you can literally use this text content anywhere um, to do whatever you want with it. So I hope this video was valuable to you. I showed you the easiest way to extract text from your PDFs and use it in your automation with just using two modules. It's just two operations. I think it is way better than subscribing to a $10 per month third party app to, you know, do the PDF thing for you. I hope you found value. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please like the video and also let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for similar AI automation solutions for your business, then don't forget to check out my bio or the description of this video where I have my website's link. If you face any issue while building this automation, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you. Now this seems very, very easy, but this is a thing that beginners are not able to figure out. This is something that you figure out while you do stuff, right? And I was like, since I've already figured it out, let me just um, let my audience know as well. So I hope um, you found value. So I'm saying that for the third, third time, but yeah, I hope you found value. And if there is anything else you would want me to cover in my next videos, then just let me know and I'll be more than happy to make a video on that. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye.